conditioning night and we're so excited to have another beautiful story from Mr. Cruz's class. And so we have Mr. Kong with us. I'm your superintendent and we have Mr. Cruz. This is his class. And the wonderful Mrs. Santos is going to be leading us tonight in a very special story for all the beautiful children right here in first grade at a race. Oh. So take it away, Ms. the Santos. All right, boys and girls. This story is very special. I used to read this story to my kiddos when they were little. So now I want to have you enjoy this story. Wait a minute, but there's an air. Okay, it in says, real life. you are all my favorites. I like it. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a mother bear, a father bear, and three baby bears. A first baby bear, a second baby bear, and a third baby it's bear. It's right there. You're covering it. It's in the middle. Whoever tucked them in at night always said the same thing to them. The baby sheep. You the baby are the other. most wonderful baby bears in the whole white world. Mm, so nice. One night after mommy bear had tucked them in and father she had said you are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world. The baby bears began to wonder. Mm. Like, mm. like mom. But how do you know? They asked their mommy bear. How do you know we are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world? Oh, let's find out. <laughs> because your daddy told me, said mommy bear, when your daddy saw you on the night you were born, he said, and I remember it very well, he said. Those are the nicest baby bears I have ever seen. They are the nicest baby bears anyone has ever seen. Hello. That was a good answer. The three baby bears snuggled down as content as could be. But one day, the first baby bear began to think. He wondered if the other two bears were nicer than he was. They had patches, after all, and he did not. Maybe his mommy really, really liked patches. And the second baby bear began to wonder. Maybe daddy loves the other two more than me, she thought. They were boy bears after all, and she was not. And the third baby bear began to worry. I'm only the littlest, he thought. Everybody's bigger than me. I'm the, smaller, I'm the smallest one in my house. So that night, the three baby bears as their daddy bear. Which one? Of us, do you like most? Who's your favorite? We can't all be the best. Yes, you can, said Daddy Bear. I know you can because I heard your mommy say so when she saw you. And Daddy Bear picked up the first baby bear to give him a cuddle. She said, that is the most perfect first baby bear that anyone has ever seen. Even with no patches. Patches don't matter or don't matter at all, replied his daddy as he tucked him in. And when your mommy saw you, Daddy Bear, picked up the second baby bear, she said, that is the most perfect second baby bear that anyone has ever seen. Even if I'm not a boy, girl or boy, it makes no difference said her daddy, and he hugged her tight. Hmm. And when your mommy saw you, 
Daddy Bear lifted the last baby bear into his arms, she said. That is the most perfect third baby bear that anyone has ever seen, even if I'm the littlest, bigly, or little. We, we love you just the same. So there, three favorites. You're all my favorites. And the best baby bears in the whole wide world went to sleep as happily as could be because that was a good answer too. And this is for all of you here at Arroyo Cycle and for my granddaughter, Vida. Yay. I love you. Yay. Okay, so I will let you hold them. Once we're done reading, okay, we'll take She's turns. Sleep, right? But you need to be sitting quietly, mm -hmm. sitting quietly, okay? I'm quietly. I want to get Okay, so as soon as they're done reading, I will let you hold them. But we need, I need to see you all sitting down with your hands like this. Chris, showing. Can we do that? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what do we need to do? We're gonna say goodbye to Green Fun, send them a big, great, big bear hug. Mm -hmm. Those are so beautiful. We had three baby bears that joined us today. So, Mr. Santos, you wanna lead us? Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone look at Mr. Santos, copy what she does. Today, we wanna send a big bear hug to all the kiddos in Greenfield from us to. Yeah!